Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Samantha Mesa. She is the newest member of Des Moines City Council. Indira Shoemaker representing Ward 1. She is the third person of color and the second woman of color to serve on the council. Local 5's Larissa Leone spoke with Shoemaker on her plans for office and the challenges that brought her here. From activist to council member, Indira Shoemaker has earned her spot on city council representing Ward 1, but she's also representing history, being one of three people of color to serve on Des Moines City Council. I do think it's historic in a lot of ways. Um, I think it's historic not just in the identity that I have, but in the strategy that I'm taking towards the job and that my priority is the most marginalized people and to work up from there. Former director of Des Moines Civilian Rights Commission Joshua Barr believes Indira has an opportunity to represent communities that have been overlooked. Her being in this position uh, can give a voice to groups that have been historically excluded uh, from uh, government uh, over time. And she's also young, so she's gonna give a, a voice to, to young people as well. Uh, and, it's, and the future belongs to the young people. Many things set Indira apart from her six other board members, but Indira sees that as an opportunity to learn and grow from each other. I think that there are things that I can learn from some of them that I, I don't have expertise in environmentalism, but I care a lot about it. And so you've got um, Josh Mandelbaum and you've got even the mayor. I can like say, okay, you can tell me about this and I can learn more about it. Um, but then I'm gonna have the perspective Perspective on the only perspective on people of color on the council. Joshua Barr wants the community to understand that in order to cultivate a more diverse environment, it takes a lot more than one person. I, I just hope that uh, any person who's watching uh, this news broadcast just understands that um, Indira can't do this alone. And in local government, it is the one form of government that affects everyone on a daily basis. Even if federal government shuts down, local government keeps rolling. And so I really want to encourage people to get more involved, to be civically engaged. Shoemaker also mentioned focusing her attention on bracing the community for the upcoming weather, and she plans to find better ways to help those without shelter stay warm during these cold Iowa winters.